so much, Daddy. Hallelujah. So uh, Matthew chapter 5, verses 10 says, Blessed are they that are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Tell your neighbor, blessed are they that are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Verses 11 says, Blessed are you when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. 12 says, Rejoice and be exceedingly glad for great is your reward in heaven. For so they persecuted they the prophets which came before you. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. And this persecution you're talking about, you're not talking about a lecture per cursing you when you have not read. No, that is not persecution. You have not read, okay? And so you don't know. We are talking about a, or a loan officer as coming for his money, which you have not paid. You borrowed the money, you have not paid it, and they are coming for their money. That is not persecution. Or a traffic officer, a traffic officer finds you, you don't have a license, or you are over speeding, or you are making a mistake. That is not persecution, child of God, okay? Or you say something, you know, some of you think you're being persecuted if you walk from your home to come to church and it rains on you. That is not persecution. God, I'm being persecuted. No, 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 no. The Bible says, <laughs> for righteousness' sake, amen, you're living a righteous life and somebody persecutes you. I don't know if some of us, you have been called to some schools like Muslim schools, Adventist schools, and for sure they persecute you for real. Eh? They don't allow you to pray. They don't want to see you with the Bible. Yet for them, when it comes to lunchtime, they go and pray. You understand? But then for you, when you begin to pray, they say for you, you're making noise. Yet for them, when they are praying, Allah, you see they begin by shouting. That then for you, when you say praise the name of Jesus, they say you're shouting. You understand what I'm talking about? So, persecution is if they are persecuting you for righteousness' sake. Because you are a believer and they are persecuting you because you, you love Jesus. Amen. So, persecution can be in the form of someone hating you, someone casting you away from your home or from your freedom. Okay? Like some of us, you gave maybe your life to Jesus and maybe they cast you away from home or your parents told you you're not going to go back to school since you have given your life to Jesus or your husband stops taking care of your children, or you, you yourself, something to do with casting away, okay? But it's because of the gospel. You understand? You have accepted Jesus, you have declared, and all your friends leave you. You are going, ah, this one is no longer fun, or oh, no, this one, ah, ah, he can no longer be our friend, okay? Or some people begin to talk ill about you, or they torture you, to even the point of death, praise the name of Jesus, they can even persecute you to the point of death. Now, why persecution? Because God is saying, when you are persecuted, you are blessed. If you're persecu persecuted for righteousness' sake, you are blessed. Why? Look, it's a, because when you come to Jesus, you open up a wall between you and the devil. That's why we encourage everyone who gives their life to Jesus to come in front and deny the devil in broad daylight. You understand? And confess with your mouth. And let everyone know that you are a believer. So you cannot say, I am a believer, when you are the only one who knows that you are a believer. Okay? You should proclaim your, your, what? your salvation to people. And people get to know that you are born again. I believe there are certain people here. You are a believer. You gave your life to Jesus at campus. But your parents do not know at home. In fact, when you go back, you pray with them in this, the other church you know, maybe even in the mosque. You need to begin to proclaim it. That's why you're not being blessed, maybe, somewhere, somehow, okay? Because there is a blessing that is attached when you begin to be persecuted for righteousness' sake. Praise the name of Jesus. Luke chapter 10, verses 18 to 19 says, And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Okay? So Jesus had sent his disciples to go and preach the gospel. And because they had begun to proclaim, Jesus told them, while you are preaching the gospel, while you are proclaiming the gospel, I saw Satan falling. Praise the name of Jesus. 
Every time you begin to proclaim the gospel, every time you begin to speak the word of God, Satan is falling. Tell your neighbor, Satan is falling. The devil is leaving you. And why? Verses 19. Because I have given you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall be an enemy's hurt you. Praise the name of Jesus. When you be, some of you are being tortured by the devil because you have not proclaimed Jesus. You do not, people do not know. And you're being persecuted. You're, actually, you're struggling. You're, you don't have a blessing. Praise the name of Jesus. But the day you stand up to begin to proclaim the gospel, you're going to see Satan falling. Praise the name of Jesus. John 15, 18 says, If the world hated me, they will also hate you. Jesus is telling you why you should be persecuted. Jesus himself was persecuted. He was beaten. He was abused. Actually, at one point, there's one time the, the Pharisees, they got him in a corner. They squeezed him. They wanted to take him. Praise the name of Jesus. They wanted to arrest him. And even at one point, Peter had to pull out the sword to fight on behalf of Jesus. Because they are coming to arrest him. Praise the name of Jesus. And so many other apostles. Even Paul one time was squeezed in the corner. And they were going to kill him. And the Bible says, If you were of the world, the world would have loved you. But they hate you because you belong to Jesus. But because you are not of the world. And I have chosen you out of the world. Therefore the world will hate you. Okay? That's why some people don't want to be your friends. Okay? Because in the moment they hear campus mega face, they become irritated. You understand? Let's move very fast. So let me tell you, as a church, we have been persecuted here. I remember our pastor told us a story that when he was coming to establish this church, he was persecuted by the administration of this area, the, the administration of, of the, the municipal. They told him, you cannot build here. We do not want a, 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 a temporary structure on the road. Yet there were other temporary structures. But it's because this is the work of God, they have to persecute it. And of course, our pastor had to pray and God helped us to put it up. And now here we are. See where we are. Amen. But let me tell you, the persecution was too. To the point that one point, because the church was established during COVID-19, our pastor and the rest of the team, they were serving you know, food to people who are, you know, COVID-19 was very serious. People were in their houses and, you know, and people didn't have food. So our pastor gathered and mobilized some food and he wanted to come and pack it from church and then send some leaders to go and deliver it to the people in their houses. Guess what happened? Persecution came. People came. They called the police and they said, ICC, they are praying. And yet there was not even any instrument they are playing. So the police came with the kavangari. They came. They arrested our ministers. They took the food. They arrested our ministers, our pastors, and they took them to prison. But let me tell you, because they were persecuted for their righteousness' sake, they were blessed. Praise the name of Jesus. They received a blessing. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. So, I remember, let me tell you, some of you do not know. You remember when we were having the campus mega fest? My friend, it rained like nothing. Do you know why it rained? It was persecution. Early in the day, someone gave me a call and told me, hello, I'm the one who is in charge of rain in this community. <laughs> they have given me your number to discuss with you. I told him, I don't know what you're talking about. For us, we do not discuss with terrorists, with non-believers. Let me tell you, it rained heavily during the, the, the campus mega fest. On, on the, when it's raining heavily, they called me 20 times that I may pick and tell them, okay, what do you want? Let me tell you, the campus mega fest happened. And whoever, each one of you that was part of that persecution, you are blessed. Praise the name of Jesus. So one reward of persecution is you are connected to a great cloud of witnesses. Praise the name of Jesus. Hebrews chapter 11, 35 says, Women received their dead raised to life again, and others were tortured, not accepting deliverance, that they may obtain a better resurrection. And others had trial of cruel mockings and scourgings, yeah, moreover, of bonds and imprisonment. 
they were stoned, they were sown asunder, they were tempted, they were slain with a sword. They wandered about in sheepskins and goatskin, being disputed, afflicted, tormented, of whom the world was not worthy. They wandered in deserts and in the mountains and in dens and in caves. Praise the name of Jesus. So there is a cloud of witnesses. They pause, they peters. So every time you are allowed to be persecuted, you join this cloud of witnesses. Praise the name of Jesus. And let me tell you, your story is being added to this one. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And so please, allow to be persecuted sometimes. Praise the name of Jesus. Because something is coming. Something big is coming. Number two, you partake of Christ's cup. Praise the name of Jesus. That's why he said, if they persecuted me, they will also persecute you. And one time in the Bible, uh, there was this woman, she came with to Jesus, the, son, uh, the mother of Zebed, and said, allow my sons to sit one on your right and one on your left. Jesus told them, will they be able to take on the cup that I'm going to take? Let me tell you, children of God, we are supposed to partake of the cup of Jesus, which is persecution. Praise the name of Jesus. If it happened to him, it is going to happen to you. But do not worry. Because if he resurrected, we are also going to resurrect with him. Hallelujah. Point number three. Persecution develops your spiritual strength. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 5 verses 3 to 5 says, And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that the troubling, the tribulation worketh patience, and patience worketh experience, and experience hope, and the hope maketh not ashamed. So the only reason you're going to stand bold for Jesus is if you have gone through a certain situation, you cannot be shaken. Praise the name of Jesus. You're going to be strong. I remember when I was persecuted, when I was getting my job at a certain hospital where I'm working, which is an Adventist hospital, they actually, they said, we are not going to give him a job because he's, an, he's, not, he's a pastor. In fact, they said, he's not just a, a, a Christian. This guy is the leader of a church, a big church. Eh? They said, we cannot give him a job. The man is going to preach to all of us and we give our life to Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. But let me tell you, when I got that job, my faith was strengthened. Now I know nothing can shake me. Praise the name of Jesus. Number four, every time you allow to be persecuted, you receive God's power. God's power is shown there. Second Corinthians chapter 12 says, Therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities, reproaches, necessities, persecutions, distress for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. Praise the name of Jesus. So God's power comes out when you're squeezed in the corner. God comes out and defends you. You remember Mr. Sedwach and Abednego? They put them in the fire. Let me tell them, they made a very big mistake. Let me tell you, that whoever is persecuting you is making a very big mistake. Because soon and very soon, they are going to worship your God. Praise the name of Jesus. And I'll end with this one. When you are persecuted, you receive heavenly blessings. No, let me end with this one. The church grows more in persecution. Praise the name of Jesus. Remember, Philippians says, but I would, you sh I, I would, you should understand that brethren, the things that have happened to me have fallen out rather for the furtherance of the gospel. Praise the name of Jesus. Paul wrote three quarters of the New Testament because he was persecuted and was in prison. He had time to write. He had time to write to people. And so he was able to write the Bible. Let me tell you, some of you are being persecuted because God is about to do something great in your life. Praise the name of Jesus. And so whatever persecution is happening to you, God is building something. The church is about to grow. And another thing is the power of God is always demonstrated in persecution. Remember this man, Peter, when they were arrested in prison, the Bible says when, he, when the church began to pray for Peter, the gates of, 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 of the prison began to open by themselves. By themselves. Because they were persecuting a child of God. Praise the name of Jesus. Let me declare to you, gates are going to open for you in the name of Jesus. As long as someone is persecuting you, they are making a very big mistake. And guess what? The early church was able to spread the gospel because of persecution. You know, after they received the Holy Spirit, they were still in the upper room. But the Bible says they began to persecute them one by one. And they began to scatter. Philip began to go in this in Ethiopia. And that's how the gospel is spread. So as you're being persecuted, the gospel is being spread. Hallelujah. And you go out with encouragement. Praise the name of Jesus. Thank you so much. And I, I pray that you allow this persecution to happen to you. Because when it happens, then you're going to be blessed.
into church family with pleasure would love to inform you that we'll start premiering our midweek online series called Morning Dew. Our pastoral team has prepared an amazing message just for you. This series will run every Wednesday from 6.30 to 7 a.m. Don't miss out on this amazing and wonderful experience to kickstart your day. We would love to keep in fellowship with you, grow together spiritually, and pray for you. Ishaka Community Church, connecting people to their destiny.